Hey adventurers, thank you for watching, my name is Trophy System and in this video I will show you how to beat the three main bosses in the dungeon The Stone Fiegel. To start things off we have the first boss called Chudo Yudo. As a tank face the boss away from the rest of the party, since this boss has a couple of different AoE attacks directly in front of itself. When you are healing this boss fight keep an eye out for the Lion Breath attack. This attack will give the person inflicted with this attack a burn debuff resulting in damage over time. As a healer you can remove this burn debuff. When you are a DPS or a healer during this boss fight, always try to keep on the back side of this boss. During the fight the boss will reposition itself within the arena and turn its head towards the rest of the party. When this is happening the boss will cast a swinge attack, resulting in damage and a silence debuff when hit by it. To dodge this swinge attack stay on the boss's flanks or backside. Other than the lion breath and swinge attack this boss is fairly easy, just keep the boss turned away from the rest of the party and burn it down. In the second boss fight you have to defeat Koshel. As a tank grab the boss its aggression and position it right in the doorway where you enter the arena while facing it towards this entrance. This doorway will be the only safe zone in a later phase where tornadoes will move around the arena. When you are a ranged DPS or healer take position near the cannons at the opposite side of the room. During the fight you will receive a notification Ischgabind is descending from the skies. After receiving this notification you will see Ischgabind hovering in front of one of the three cannons. Interact to the cannon Ischgabind is hovering in front of to shoot a cannonball and make it go away. During the time Ischgabind is descended he will cast snowfall attacks, dealing room wide damage to the whole group. So it is advised to shoot the cannons as soon as you can. When the boss is down to about 50% of its health it will start using tornado attacks, leaving tornadoes moving down the arena. Dodge them as necessary. If you do get hit by a tornado it will leave you with a wind burn debuff, which can be removed by a healer. Keep shooting Ischgabind when it descends again and repeat the dodging and damage dealing and Koshel will be defeated pretty easily. In the last fight we encounter Ischgabind for the final time. Have the tank grabbing Ischgabind's aggression and face it away from the rest of the party. The boss will use three different attacks during the time it's on the ground. The first attack is called Frost Breath, dealing big damage to the person hit by it and can't be dodged or stunned, so be ready to heal it accordingly. The second attack Ischgabind uses is called Sheet of Ice, leaving a circular ice AoE in the arena. When standing in this AoE you will receive the Frostbite debuff, so try to stay clear of the icy AoEs. When Ischgabind is down to about 50% of its health it will take up into the sky. While it is in the sky Ischgabind will cast an AoE attack covering one third of the arena in a vertical or horizontal attack. Dodge this attack since it will result in massive damage and leave you with the Frostbite debuff. The third attack Ischgabind uses is called Rhyme Wreath, dealing room wide damage to all the party members. The second time Ischgabind is taking up into the sky the air phase has a little addition. In addition to the one third AoE attacks Ischgabind will drop two sheets of ice on every party member. I would advise keeping the ice sheets in a spot close to each other so it's easy to dodge the one third AoE attacks directly after.
When it's back on the ground, it's rinse and repeat to defeat it. This will conclude this dungeon guide. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV videos. In any case you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them in the comment section.